Welcome to Revival Time Hub, the fire shall ever be burning upon the altar, it shall never go out. Two keys for receiving from fathers. Let me give you two biblical keys. You want to receive from a father, a spiritual father, a physical father, a financial father, a political father, any kind of father. There are two keys. Number one, the first key that controls receiving from fathers is honor. The first key. You will never, this is why our generation of young men do not succeed because we have institutionalized this honor. We see it as a thing of pride. Young people who have not produced anything, they've not raised anybody, they've not changed any life, but we can sit down and mark the scripts of fathers and dare to criticize. Every father deserves your honor, even if you see their nakedness. The Bible says Noah's sons, they saw their nakedness and one called his brothers to come and laugh. Even though he was drunk, when he got up, he knew they were looking at him. There are some things that are there. And the other one moved backwards and covered him and he got up and cursed some of the sons. Two keys. Number one, honor. Malachi chapter one. We'll read 6 to 8. Fire is going to fall here right now. Malachi chapter 1 from verse 6 to 8. It says, A son honoreth his father, and a servant his master. If then I be a father, where is mine honor? And if I be a master, where is my fear? Sayeth the Lord God of hosts, O priest that despise my name. And ye say, Wherein have we despised your name? We're reading to 8. Ye offer polluted bread upon my altar, and ye say, Wherein have we polluted thee? In that ye say, The table of the Lord is contemptible. Verse 8. And if ye shall offer the blind for sacrifice, is it not evil? And if ye offer the lame and the sick, is it not evil? Offer it now to your governor, will it be pleased with thee? Or accept thy person say the Lord of hosts can I tell you this do you know why Jacob Isaac already had flocks but he said the one I want to eat is the one you go and get not the one at the back of the house why would he have flocks and herds and now tell his son carry your weapons of war I want the one that came from your effort place value on it let me eat let your honor for me turn to joy because that blessing from my spirit is only released through joy there are many children today who are carrying curses from their parents not demons because they've spent their lives causing pain to their parents sometimes we ship all kinds of things in the name of westernization and you see children insult their parents insult any kind of person and I, I, I'm saying this respectfully speaking young people whether in this country or across Africa this is one of the mysteries behind the hard life of young people we have no honor at all for parents not just physical parents anybody can get up and just insult anybody no you will carry courses in successions We read it already, Genesis 27. When you read from verse 3 and 4, he said, Make me venison, such that I love. Make me venison from your weapons of war. Honor is not just about giving money or giving seeds. But let me tell you this. As a person and as a principal, you will never see me go and stand before any of our fathers of faith in this nation or any of any great mentor or father whether in business whether in whatever area I won't sit down and say I'm a great man apostle Joshua Selman I understand this law when I honor I honor from the depth of my heart there are many pastors today 
you can lie down and hold the legs of a man of God and never receive jack because it comes through honor. You can even kneel down and still be standing up in your heart. It's not about all of this pretense and this, this hypocrisy people do. Genuine heartfelt honor is the reason why you see great people hardly reproduce themselves. Everything God gives a great man, it is supposed to be for everyone who is interested, but very few people. Do you know that there are many homes, like I told you, the biological children of the man and his wife don't seem to carry their grace. And then you will see one stranger who maybe came to squat. The person who communicates honor is the one who carries the mantle. Learn it from tonight. Let honor be a culture. Husbands, honor your wives. You don't honor your wife, your prayer will not be answered. The Bible said that. Wives, honor your husbands. Don't say he looked for me. What does that mean? Children, honor your parents. Bring in all this westernization and you will punish your future in a way that you cannot imagine. Parents also, respectfully speaking, honor your children because there are things through their life that you may not have seen that God is revealing. Help this woman. I'm seeing oil coming on her. The first key for receiving from fathers. Fathers here does not just mean men alone. Those who have gone ahead is honor. Genuine honor. How many pastors today talk about their leaders, their overseers, their, they gossip about them, tear them down and then come up, yes sir, how are you sir? That's the reason why no impartation works because the honor is not genuine. How many business people how many people in corporations, they sit down and tear their superiors, insult them and talk all kinds of things and see them out. CEO, sir, God bless you. He can cut cake for you and you can eat, but that is it. But there can be others who will say, look, I know this man is not perfect, but I choose to honor him. Whatever granted him grace to come to Abuja here, and in five years, he has become this. I stand with understanding. And I know. And one day he can look at you and say, I bless you. Or he will say, let me tell you a story. In 1971, my father died. In 1972, my mother died. In 1973, all my helpers died. So how did you become great? That is what he's leading you to. And a two-hour conversation will become a six-hour conversation in that office. And at the end of it, he will say, I met one missionary. Who just said a prayer and I want to pray that prayer for you sometimes you see our father in the Lord that is you he will ask everybody to stand up see just because people don't tell you anointings are like addresses you can know where they came from when you see extraordinary results happening for people please let me tell you this look beyond the physical frame there are people who is a combination of strange mantles and anointings upon their heads. Hallelujah. When Papa Idahosa was alive, according to God's servant, Bishop Oedeko, he would tell you that one time he came to him and delivered something and he gave him an opportunity to pick some money and he said no if I remember correctly he said no 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 what I want is that blessing and he told him kneel down he said from tonight I impart upon you the grace of on time that before any need arises the answer comes and he received it when God grant me the grace and the privilege to lie down and pray alone in daddy Joe's prayer room I was not praying and saying, God bless me, give me tea, give me bread. I would be stupid to pray that kind of prayer. I laid down there and one of the things I prayed, I said, Lord, the covenant of answered prayer of many fathers who have gone, that you have placed upon this man, that he can speak casually and shift the climate of nations. May that same grace come upon me. I shared with you my story when we went to Equity State. And I saw people dying at 130 something, 140 something, 150 something. 
I said no there has to be a grace here when we were done preaching years ago I now came back and we stopped at a house where someone 136 he just died I said please look for the oldest man here so that we can receive this grace for long life there were hardly people there who could speak English eventually we got somebody who could speak limited English and they took us to one man old man and we said we are men of God we just want him to speak over our lives and he looked at me and smiled and said kneel down those who carry this thing know they have it all let me tell you those who carry it they know they have it you don't stand before people as colleagues and receive mantles no mantles don't honor don't don't respond to colleague mentality oh i used to know this one and as they prayed i felt like a crown was being put upon my head i now honored him gave him a seed and when we were going to go and enter the car thanking the women who we asked initially i just saw one of the women and they said that was the wife of this senior um the man of god this veteran that had gone they now do you know that the woman was in her hundreds and yet she was standing strong no stick no nothing i said what is this i said let's go back home if he's dead she's still alive in him two have become one the woman tapped me and said come she opened the room and started showing me the pictures that was the wife of his youth i hope you know those days they used to marry as teenagers that woman had stayed with him till his final days and then i said since this man is dead and he died serving the lord they should tell her that please they've prayed for us but i want prayer from her the woman said i should kneel down and she removed both of her shoes she stood on bare foot and prayed for more than 15 minutes in yoruba i don't know what she was saying all i know is that there was a mantle i returned with speed to zaria and i said my people i came with an anointing stand up let me release something upon you first hear me your possibilities are defined by the mantles that are upon you one day a man of god prayed for me and he said son because of this apostolic grace upon your life i impart upon you i never knew there was such a grace he said i impart upon you the king maker anointing you've heard me say it king makers never become the kings themselves but they can enthrone and dethrone kings so you can stand and speak over an ordinary man and say may god lift you and that grace would defy anything and place that person there it's a grace number one honor number two service slash support the second key for receiving from fathers is there must be a track record of service or supporting what they represent genesis 30 when you read from verse 26 to 30 genesis 30 let's read very quickly we're about to pray give me my wives he said jacob now in the house of leban and my children for whom i have served thee and let me go for thou knowest my service which i have done unto you next verse and laban said unto him listen carefully pray thee i pray thee if i have found favor in thine eyes tarry ye for i have learned by experience that the lord had blessed me for thy sake isaac went to the house of laban and turned things around and he said appoint me my wages keep the scripture there and i will give it we're reading to 30 29 and he said unto him thou knowest how i have served thee and how thy cattle was with me 30 hmm. for it was little which thou hast before i came and it is now increased unto a multitude and the lord had blessed thee since my coming and now when shall i provide for my own household also listen when you carry mantles upon your head 
there are people who will give you jobs not because of any physical effort like Laban they would have studied that anywhere this man sits down have you noticed that this man came into this business have you noticed that this man got a job into this parastatal and things began to change it is not always about physical work read your Bible the spiritual climates that you carry can define possibilities in your life so you can hear people come and give you testimonies here they are not stage managing it we fear God how does someone just come and sit down and then by a week later his life just changes the same way your life too is about to change this night redefining inheritance now you know what an inheritance is now let me tell you this the final thing I'll tell you is this fans don't receive inheritance supporters don't receive inheritance inheritance is for those who are connected genuinely by blood by covenant by revelation let me repeat inheritance is for those who are connected genuinely by blood by covenant by revelation Only a shoe will reign forever. To his kingdom there'll be no end. Hear me. I'm about to pray. Please believe me when I tell you life does not have to be this hard. It is the bankruptcy of something on your head you have not received. Some of you probably if you've been part of this vision for up to one year and your life is not producing any results check your life there is something you are missing believe me believe me there is the covenant of his presence that can bring you've heard me say it that i entered a covenant with god that i would never meet a person twice for that person's life to change you cannot come if you come to sit down here as a fan unfortunately or supporters club or well wishers it has to be a covenant revelation lord i believe lord i believe that something can come upon my life in spite of my background my lowly estate i believe that this wealth and finance thing can be settled once and for all I believe you can, you are the God of portions you can give me portions even in a strange land I believe as a man of God that something can step upon my life and ministry will no longer be a desert land I believe as a politician that I can carry a mantle that can fight for me at the gates in the next two minutes I'm going to allow you with the Lord every dimension that you need to step into i will leave you in prayer for the next two minutes please i want you to cry from the depth of your heart for some of us is poverty you need to end once and for all for god's sake for some of us is weakness and limitation politicians this may be your chance to access superior grace that produces results businessmen here can be your chance to rise there are young men and young women saying apostle physically speaking i don't have any advantage but the god of heaven can help you pray our global family following online pray in the name of Jesus
Hear me, please. Listen. Listen. Please listen. Listen. You've heard people come and stand here, and everybody will tell you they listen to this message, this grace called favor. I told you my story how that Esther anointing and that favor came upon my life for some reason it is one of the hardest graces upon my life that I've seen people receive I don't know why it's easy for people to receive the prophetic receive the healing anointing but I don't know what is it about this mantle for favor that has been very difficult and yet I submit to you by God that if you do not access the genuine anointing help them please the grace for favor there are many things you cannot do in your life this world is a cruel and a wicked world i would never be able to do what god is doing across the globe today outside of the favor of god as i will tell you there are many things i do not know I'm a student myself I learn and continue to learn I learned from the Holy Spirit I learned from Scripture I learned from our fathers I learned from people with proven track record but I can tell you one thing that I understand I understand the dynamics of favor believe me when I tell you I know what it takes to compel systems and structures to open for you among the many graces you may desire as I give you one minute again to pray I want you to cry for this grace called favor Lord let it come upon my life by your mercy Help them 
The smell of my son is like the field that the Lord had blessed. One more minute, I'm about to speak over your life. Tonight will be one service that you will not forget in a hurry. Hallelujah. 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 There are people what you need to receive is the conviction of every great man that you admire. The first inheritance that you need. Study their mindset, their beliefs their convictions number two for some of you you need the leverage of the name a compendium of the credibility the track record the value the contribution and the honor that has been accorded that name for some of you what you need are the strategic relationships and connections that provide you a leverage for your work with God for ministry for business for your career your pursuit for some of you in all honesty what you need is physical support that push could be financial could be in terms of physical estates businesses or whatever it is but for everybody here this one is not some. I can tell you this last dimension. There is a mantle. There are graces. Behind the exploits that you see in business. Behind the exploits that you see in ministry. Behind the exploits that you see in politics and governance. Behind the exploits that you see in career. More than all the physical things whether diabolically or genuinely by the holy spirit any extraordinary physical result has a spiritual component that sponsors it unfortunately many have gone diabolic but with the dignity of kingdom integrity you can stand in partnership with scripture and the holy spirit it takes more than being gifted to excel your gift must be anointed there are many gifted people who remain empty. There are many great people whose voices remain silenced because the requisite level of grace is not there. I want to speak over your life. You don't have to kneel or do whatever. Just, just stand with understanding. I came here from the depth of my heart tonight. This is part one. Part two will be on Saturday during the broadcast. Don't miss it. Call your families and call everybody to connect by faith. Listen, I wish I were not the one doing this. If you look at me physically, there is nothing in this man physically. You would be mistaken. I am not that special as a person. However, that the excellency of power may be on us. Ordinary men. Ordinary men. Helped by a mighty God. 
ordinary men not as intelligent as necessary not as eloquent not even as visionary as necessary but when that mighty God comes to protect you and invest his jealousy upon your life your life becomes nothing short of a sign and a wonder who am I your mind is so full of me mortal man in the name of Jesus I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead hear me everything that has tied you that came from your physical paternity limitations that came from your biological father biological mother or your physical territory I stand by the honor and the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic I break you from it now I, help them please I break you from it now I break you from it now I break you from it now every spirit that makes easy things difficult you saw this with your father you saw this with your mother you saw this with your siblings sincerely you have not been able to break through in the name of Jesus I come by the rod of the higher priesthood and I declare in the name of Jesus I push you to the next season of destiny help that man please in the name of Jesus Christ hear me everything that has covered your glory so that you are covered nothing about you can be seen Makatosh Kadia Embrekete Seketa by the power that raised Christ from the dead I tear that veil right now hear me where your physical father cost you I stand by priesthood to bless you anyone by your physical descent who said it will not be well with you I stand by the privilege of the apostolic call I reverse that statement 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 anyone who said it will not be well with you in the name of Jesus by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic I veto that statement and I cancel it please pay attention don't be distracted the spirit that insists that you must remain poor and beggarly in spite of your hard work in spite of educational qualification or you rise up and then you go down some of you see good things but you never lay hold of it in the name of Jesus and by the power of the prophetic I decree and declare between now and the next three months step into prepared blessings 90 days if I be a servant of God I stand by this apostolic mantle in the next three months step into prepared blessings jobs you did not apply for houses you did not build I speak this by the God who called me hear me every inherited battle they fought your father to his grave they fought your mother to his grave now they will not give you peace I help them please in the name of Jesus now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace always and by all means always and by all means 
inherited financial battles inherited family battles inherited career battles they come to an end now two more prayers and we're done my god i wish god could open your eyes to see what is happening in this place I'm hearing the month of August that there are people between now and August. Hear me. Between now and August, I stand by Bakatos Katia. Help the help her, please, so she doesn't injure herself. What could not be done throughout 2020, throughout 2021, and even till now, in the name of Jesus, I declare between now and August, step into it. Step into it. Step up, Bakatos. Step into it. Let me prophesy recovery. You have lost money. You have lost friends. You have lost opportunities. You have lost relationships. You mishandled favorable opportunities and it slipped your hand. Is there hope for a tree even if it be cut short? The Bible says at the scent of water, I want to speak over your life. In the name of Jesus, I have been commanded to bless. Therefore, I decree and declare everything that has left your life and is not by divine orchestration. I call it back now. Finances be restored. Relationships be restored. Spiritual fire be restored. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now hear me every parent here physical parent now who is struggling with your child in one area it looks like the devil wants to wage war over your family and some of you have been depressed asking lord is this how i'm going to die no responsible child to rise up some of you even the child the devil is fighting to make sure you don't even have the child in the name of jesus I'm speaking to our global family first and then to the body of Christ. No one connected to this grace will have a cause to regret over their children. Therefore, by this prophetic word, we release ministering spirits to homes, to schools, everywhere your child is. In the name of Jesus, May they come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. May they be transformed. May they become responsible children. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please wave your hands to Jesus and give him all the praise. Amen. Amen. We've been commanded to bless. It cannot be reversed. Amen. Amen. One more time. Amen. Amen. Please let me encourage every parent if god can grant you grace i know it is not easy but if god can grant you grace use this week and speak over your children men you are the priest over your home while your wife and children are sleeping get up in the night praying in tongues and walking around the house laying hands on them tell them don't worry i'm praying for you you just keep sleeping and take authority over the spiritual climate of your family 
Stand like the priest that you are and say, Satan, thus far have you come. I have drawn a line over this family. You have no business over my wife, my children, my husband, and so on and so forth. In the name of Jesus Christ. For someone, your season of shame and reproach has come to an end finally. In the name of Jesus Christ.